got a titration calculation exam question for you to try. So here it is. If you want to pause the video, have a go at the question and then play them when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so you can see I've populated the titra row. So it's obviously the difference between the initial and final readings. But remember, they have to be recorded to the nearest 0.05 cm cubed. So I would often see uh, some of my students, unfortunately, missing out that zero and that one, and they don't get the mark for that row. Okay, so it has to be recorded to the nearest 0.05 cm cubed. So it would have to be written like that. So to work out the mean tightra, we need to establish if the results are all concordant or not. And you can see that this one here isn't concordant. It's not within 0 0.10 of the others, whereas these two are. So they are the concordant results. So we base the mean tightra on these two results only. So the mean tightra is 24.25 cm cubed. Okay, so moving on to part B, you'll see I've got this little diagram. I always like to talk through titrations using a little diagram so you can actually visualize what's happening. So we were told in the question, the student prepares a 0.15 mole per decimeter cubed sodium carbonate solution in a 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. So that's obviously here. Hydrochloric acid is added to a 50 cm cubed burette. Most burettes are 50 cm cubed. But remember, we've just established from part A that the mean titrate was 24.25 cm cubed. The student pipettes uh, the sodium carbonate solution using a 25 cm cubed pipette. So that the student's taking 25 cm cubed of this solution out of the volumetric flask, put it into the conical flask, and they've obviously done the titration. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing, see I've written up there, the moles of sodium carbonate that have been used in the titration Concentration, there's the concentration there, times volume, but remember only 25 cm cubed of the sodium carbonate solution we used in the titration. So obviously don't be thrown by the fact that it said it was, you, uh, it was placed in a 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. Only 25 was used in the titration. So moles of sodium carbonate comes out at 0 0.00375. Step two, we need to work out the moles of hydrochloric acid in that mean titra of 24.25 cm cubed. Well, you can see I've written up there, so that's the moles of sodium carbonate times two, giving us this value here. Why have I done that? It's because the mole ratio in the balanced equation is one to two. So we knew the moles of that. We want to find the moles of that, so you can see we would double it. And then the final thing we'd do is to work out the concentration of the HCl moles divided by the volume remember the volume's got to be in decimeters cubed and that's coming out to three significant figures at 0 0.309 moles per decimeter cubed 